This is Alisha Amal here and welcome to the beginner's guide to RC helicopters. In this segment we will talk about the basic controls of a four channel helicopter. Why do we call it channels or four channels? Uh, channels, each channel will control one function of the helicopter flight and four channel means you, you are actually controlling four different functions in your hand. Here is a four channel helicopter control and before I get into this I would say there are two types of helicopters available in the market. They are ready to fly RTF or ARF, almost ready to fly. RTF or ready to fly helicopters. They're ready to fly right outside the box because they come preset and they have everything included inside the box for them to fly. All you need to do is take them out, add batteries and start flying. They can be as small as three channel helicopters, indoor, four channel indoor helicopters. They can be four channel indoor or outdoor helicopters and they can be six to seven channel full 3D CCPM helicopters depending on what companies are offering you. There are three types of ARF helicopters or almost ready to fly helicopters so far I know. One, they are 85% to 100% built. They come with ESC and motor installed in there already. All you need to do is install your own servos, install your own receiver and your own gyro. You have to buy your own battery as well. After that you need to do all the setup from setting up the swash, cyclic, and do all the programming for the throttle and pitch curves. Second type of ARF helicopters, they come 85% uh, to 100% built already, assembled, and including motor, ESC, and servos. Some of them even include gyros. All you need to do is have your own radio, and you install the receiver, and you configure the receiver, you program the cyclic, you program the swash plate, you program the throttle and pitch curves, and you start flying it. Of course, this kind of helicopters come with their own batteries as well. Final type of ARF helicopters are like Align T-Rex professional helicopters. Such kind of helicopters, they come at you in boxes and they are not assembled at all. All you need to do is take out those components in each and every bag, read the instruction manual and start assembling your helicopter from scratch to 100%. You have to set the servos and all the other electronics and you have to have your own radio and you have to program everything for such kind of ARF helicopters. Let us not go into details, let's talk about the controls. Here is a basic four channel control. We have channel four channels here. So this is mod 2, this means throttle is on the left side, I fly mod 2. Now looking at it, channel 1 is uh, ailerons, channel 2 is elevator, and channel 3 is your speed, and channel 4 is your rudder or yaw. In case of a 4 channel coaxial helicopter, there's no rudder but this can make it yaw, and more speed, more throttle means helicopter ascend, less throttle means helicopter descend. Okay, here we are. So you can see it's flying. Oh, my papers are gone. So you can see it's a fixed pitch helicopter. When I give it more speed, the helicopter ascends. When I reduce the speed, the helicopter descends. Now, this is your aileron. Okay? You can see helicopter goes left. It drifts left and right. This is your aileron. This is your elevator going forward, going backward. Okay? This is your elevator. Okay? And this is your yaw. You can spin the helicopter any way you want. Alright? By mixing all these controls, you can actually have a very good realistic flight. As you like, you can let the helicopter fly forward or you can let the helicopter fly backward. You can let the helicopter drift left, you can let the helicopter drift right. Alright, so uh, let me bring it back. So these are very very basic controls and basically this is a four channel helicopter. Even a fixed pitch single rotor helicopter 
will have these four basic controls. Ailerons, elevator, throttle and rudder.